The two men who entered UFC 273 as champions left the exact same way. Aljamain Sterling and Alexander Volkanovsky both retaining their titles in the top two fights on the card. In the main event, Volkanovsky utterly batters the Korean zombie to a merciful stoppage by TKO in the fourth round for his latest title defense and 21st consecutive MMA victory. He has been sensational. The confidence is growing. The performances keep getting better. And what can you say about this guy? He is just one of the best pound for pound mixed martial artists in the world right now. Few people topping what he's doing in the sport at the moment. And the title reign continues to roll on with some more big name fights. I think we have to return to the matchup that was originally intended to happen at this event between Volkanovski and Max Holloway. We all want to see that third matchup. We don't need to go into the minutia of those first two fights. They were both extremely close and Volkanovski got the decision on both ones, but I think it's still a lot of unsettled business. Those two guys, of course, the UFC tried to pair them once already. I think it's time to do it again. It remains to be seen when that will happen, where it could happen. But to me, that is absolutely the fight to make at 145 pounds for both guys. And if you go down 10 pounds to the bantamweight division, Aljamain Sterling edging out a split decision over Piotr Yan and their title unification bout. A hard fought, very competitive fight. Could have gone either way in my opinion, but Aljamain Sterling getting his hand raised in the victory for this fight. And he now moves on to new business as far as his championship reign. Can put the Piotr Yan chapter of his career behind him for the time being. I think it's potentially a fight we could see once again for a third time down the line. But right now, I think Sterling deserving a new challenger and I think it's pretty obvious who that man needs to be and that is the person who is cage side for this event TJ Dillashaw the former two-time champion of this division the man who never lost his belt in the cage but rather had to vacate it, was stripped of it, however you want to put it, once he failed his USADA test and had that two-year suspension. He's come back, got the win over Corey Sandhag, and I think it's pretty clear he needs to be the guy. Of course, bantamweight, extremely stacked, but both these guys seem highly interested in fighting each other. Sterling admitted in the post-fight press conference it's fairly personal between them two because of all the things Dillashaw has said about him since he defeated Jan by disqualification to win that belt originally last year. I think this is a great style matchup. I think it would be a fun build between these two. So to me, that is the clear layup. Uh, coming off this event, UFC 273, I think two pretty clear next fight moves for the two champions and looking forward to both those bouts unfolding later this year.